as the men gently carried our Lord towards the tomb, his blessed mother, Mary, quietly walked behind them, with tears washing away from her divine face her son's sacred blood. Along with the other holy women that walked beside her and St. John, every step she took caused her tremendous pain as she relived the events of his passion. At moments she felt as though she could walk no longer, as she felt submerged in her sorrow. But St. John lovingly stood by her side, comforted her, and assisted her towards the tomb. She carried in her beautiful hands pure white linen to cover her divine son's sacred body. As she held it close to her heart, her heavenly tears fell upon the cloth, as if purifying the garment our Lord would wear to meet his Holy Father. Upon arriving at the tomb, the men entered slowly with our Lord. They placed another white cloth upon the long stretch of rock where they laid our Lord. The women in St. John stood outside watching as they laid the lifeless body of our Lord upon the cold stone. When Mary entered, she slowly approached her divine son and began the most difficult part of her journey. She stood before him and began to cleanse his sacred body, starting with his head. So tenderly she parted his hair that was all matted with dry blood and kissed him everywhere there was a wound. Slowly she took a basin of water and began to pour it over his head. With one hand she gently wiped with a cloth his sacred blood. She could not help but to think of him when he was a small child, and she bathed him. All these memories of his childhood were filling her sorrowful heart with joy, and this along with God's infinite grace gave her the strength to continue. Everyone in the tomb stood in awe to see this exchange of divine love as Mary continued to cleanse her son. As she slowly kissed each wound, she would caress his sacred face and whispered in his ear, Oh, my sweet Jesus, flesh of my flesh, how I love you. I would have happily offered myself to God for you, but I knew in my heart that God's plan was perfect and you were his chosen one. Oh, little lamb of mine, oh, my Jeshua, so pure and white, you have shed your divine blood for the salvation of all. Your sacrifice surpasses all. How blessed I am to have been chosen to be your mother, and now mother to all. What a great gift I have received, divine love of God. I love you, my beloved son. She then bowed her head, and streams of tears cleansed the wounds, and they became radiant as if a light were shining upon them. All in the tomb were moved to tears, as they prayed and assisted Mary. The process was long, causing tremendous suffering on Mary. There was not one part of his holy body that did not have a wound, and at every wound she tenderly kissed it before washing it. When all this was done, the men again carried our Lord as the women carefully folded the blood-soaked linen the Lord laid on. Then Mary took a cloth and began to cleanse the stone Jesus laid upon. After the stone was cleansed of all his blood, she then took the linen that was once in her arms close to her heart. She opened it and laid it on the tomb. She sprinkled perfume on it and said a prayer to God. Dear Heavenly Father, as you lovingly place your only divine Son in my hand, I now prepare to offer him up to you, the biggest sacrifice I have ever had to endure. My heart, although is breaking, it also rejoices in knowing your divine plan has been fulfilled. Thank you, dearest Father, for the greatest gift of all, your holy and divine Son. It was my greatest love and joy. I offer you my suffering in union with my Son for the salvation of all. I thank you, Eternal Father, for choosing me as his mother and mother to all your children. I pray that you fill me with your peace and love as I prepare to say goodbye 
to my beloved Jeshua. Please give him a kiss from me, Heavenly Father, and whisper to him how much I love him. As she finished her prayer, the men laid Jesus upon the white linen cloth. For one last time, Mary wanted to caress his beautiful face. She gently stroked his hair and softly kissed all his face. Then she took one hand at a time, placed his hand upon her face, and she tenderly kissed them. She continued to kiss the wounds of his side, where she gently reached over and placed her lips upon his sacred wound. Lastly, she reached his sacred feet and placed her face on them as she held them tightly and then lovingly filled his feet with tears and kisses. All was done. Now the time had come to cover our Lord's body in the white linen cloth. But before this was finished, everyone in the tomb, one at a time, came to Jesus and gave him a kiss. As Mary stood back and watched, she could not help but be overcome with emotion. Her son looked as though he were sleeping, so peaceful and beautiful. When all said goodbye, Mary walked up to Jesus and began to cover Jesus with the white linen. As she finished, Mary knelt before him, and all knelt too. They were all in deep prayer with our Heavenly Father. You could see the tomb totally filled with angels, and great peace filled their hearts and souls. They slowly walked out of the tomb, and they took one more look from the outside before the men closed the tomb a sight that would forever be engraved in their heart, mind, and soul.